Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be looking at how to install Parrot Sec OS on a Raspberry Pi 3, you guys. Now, if you are interested in looking at how to install Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi, I'm going to leave a link down in the description because I have a video on how to do that. Now, if you're new to this channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to also enable those notifications by hitting that bell and drop a like, you guys. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Now, again, we're going to be looking at how to install Paratech OS on a Raspberry Pi 3. And I believe there's only an image available for the Pi 3. And at this point, all we need to do is wait for the version for the Pi 4. For those that are interested right so this is pretty much the same process as the Kali Linux and like I said I'm gonna leave that video or that link to that video down in the description because it's pretty much the same process all you need to do is download the image from the site and you need to actually download a software to actually burn that image into an SD card and all you have to do at that point is pretty much insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi which is pretty simple right now during this process I noticed a just one thing that was probably different when it came to actually extracting the image from the compressed file that I downloaded from the site and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that and just very quick you guys if you're interested on following the channel on other social media platforms I'm gonna leave those links down in the description as well and I'm gonna leave a link to my discord server if you're interested in joining we have several channels there for each of the topics each of these areas or the videos that I have been doing on this channel so make sure to check that out if you have any questions or any suggestions or comments or anything at all right so the first step you guys is actually go onto the website and download the image and please make sure you actually download the most latest version and in this case at the moment of this video I downloaded the one that was probably published around you know March 7th of this year so just keep that in mind if you see a later version or a later date for that image I highly suggest that you should download that one instead so again once you find the latest version of the image just go ahead and click on it and that should probably start downloading for you and at that point we can proceed to the next step so the next step you guys is actually very simple and all you have to do here is actually extract the image from the file that you downloaded from the site now remember that I mentioned earlier in this video that I had to do like a couple of steps here and that is because if you see the extension on this file is a tar.xz now what I did here is basically right click and basically extract whatever's inside here in the same directory in the same folder now keep in mind this is going to just take a while just a couple of minutes for it to extract the file and at that point like I was mentioning you guys I had to extract the image once more and you're going to see that here in just a second so at this point we're just gonna let it finish and like you see here we have two files now now one is going to end on the file extension is going to end in a dot tar you guys now again we are going to extract again from this file whatever is inside and this is going to be the IMG the image file that we need to actually burn onto the SD card so once again we're going to right click on that file and basically just extract here the same deal the same process like we did before now again we're just gonna let it finish and then once it completes we're gonna come back and just basically use an application to burn the image onto an SD card and just very quick you guys once you extract for the last time you're going to see that we now have several files here now some of these files are text files you guys and these files contain a hash now these files have different types of hashes which we see a SHA MD5 and that's just basically to verify the integrity make sure nothing has been altered and it's just a very good practice to actually verify that is the correct image now the next step that you need to do here is actually download this application which is called Rufus I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but what you have to do is pretty straight forward you guys and all you have to do is select the device and lastly you're going to select the image that you're going to use to actually burn it onto the SD card now again I'm gonna be using a USB adapter and basically just plug in an SD card to it and at this point all you need to do here you guys is just start the process and that should take no more than 10 minutes 
And at that point, all you need to do is basically plug in that SD card into the Raspberry Pi 3 and you should be good to go, you guys. And that is it, you guys. Very straightforward, very simple. And thanks for watching all of my videos if you are a subscriber. And if you're not, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell. Very important to hit that bell, you guys, if you want to get notified on the next video. And please drop a like you guys and if you have any comments leave those down below now in the description I'm gonna have several links there for my social media accounts also I'm gonna leave the link for the invite to join my discord server just in case you have any issues any comments we have several channels there that you can check out and you know just join say hello say hi and I'll promise I'll re I'll try to reply back to you guys and that is it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.